Mr. Marcos? Uh, yes, um, I uh, am delighted with this uh, meeting this morning. It's taken decades to revive the uh, housing efforts begun under my father's administration. Thank you very much, gentlemen, and most of all to our chairman, my uh, colleagues in the Senate. Um, may I uh, just follow up on the query of our chairman, whether there are in fact amendments required in the bill that, uh, you, fe that you feel would uh, help um, in your pursuit of the different guidelines uh, provided by the President, not only in the SONA, but in many other statements. Unang una, nakikita ko kasi nabigyan ako ng briefing ni uh, General Del Rosario Sahadzi na yung inyong um, uh, pinag-aabalahan ngayon sa Hadzi, alimbawa, eh, madalas yung bangon Marawi. At kung 2.5 billion lang ang nakataktang budget ninyo, ang totoo nasa 10 to 20 billion ang pinaghihila na pera mula sa HADSI, pati na rin sa OCD, pati na rin sa Presidential Fund. Andito rin, binanggit ka, babanggit pa lamang ng NHA ni Mr. Escalada na yung uh, takloban ay pinag-aabalahan pa rin ninyo kasi ayun na naman, uh, substandard na naman ang pinatayo dati. Alam ko na problema pa rin yung uh, pabahay ng sambuag na siege at natuloy na fire. So madaling sabi, pag binasa ninyo yung Section 2, yung Declaration of Policy, uh, there is absolutely no mention of emergency housing covering Marawi, Tacloban, or Sambuanga. Is it in uh, your uh, thinking uh, necessary to add provisions for emergency housing to be covered by this new department, or are we completely satisfied with the arrangement, um, ad hoc as it may seem, um, of pulling out uh, funds and personnel from um, the OCD and the NDRRMC, from the Office of the President, and whomsoever may be available at that period? Or are we, in fact, in need of uh, an expansion of your powers? Mr. Chair, uh, with all due respect to uh, the General, the reality is the only uh, allowance in the law is that you formulate a framework under Section 5.1.E. It's merely a framework for resilient housing. You are not at any point allowed to undertake or implement the housing yourselves. In fact, questions have arisen regarding the legality of the two administrative orders and the single executive order regarding Bangon Marawi. Not that we are in uh, any um, disagreement with the effort to rebuild Marawi. In fact, it's taken a very long time. But more importantly, that uh, the legality should be in place so that the delays that have occurred will not persist. Uh, yes, uh, Your Honor. The declaration of policy is very clear cut in Section 2. It merely talks about urbanized centers. Um, there is no mention in the declaration of policy about emergency housing, which seems to be the main concern at the moment and what occupies you and your budget most. All it says is that there will be a formulation of a framework for resilient housing among your powers. Ibig sabihin, magpaplano lang po kayo. Hindi kayo ang re-responde. Yes, uh, Your Honor. Actually, the emergency housing is being provided uh, and implemented by the National Housing Authority per instruction by the President. So that's the, uh, the, the legal basis on uh, our intervention. But uh, with regards to uh, a a law specifically providing that uh, mandate. Uh, yes, Your Honor, you are right uh, in that uh, aspect. Yes, um, I think uh, uh, administrative orders and even an executive order have limited uh, potency and viability in terms of uh, budget and uh, the other issues that you have uh, uh, brought up. And uh, they certainly don't cover emergency housing. Unfortunately, perhaps that's an area that the chairman could look at. I've actually filed a uh, bill for uh, Bangun Marawi. We are all very clear that a task force is um, by definition meant to last only six months to two years, ideally. And uh, the work in Marawi is so over overwhelming and comprehensive that it'll clearly uh, be uh, undertaken for many decades. Um, my second question, Mr. Chairman, would be uh, 
With regard to rural housing, it's clear to everyone that 60% of poverty in this country occurs in the countryside. Ngunit eto na naman, dito sa ating bill, sa declaration of policy, ang pinag-uusapan lamang er, ang uh, e urbanized centers, urbanization, and the phenomenon of urbanization. Kakulangan ba to o may project po ba kayo sa ating mga bukirin at uh, libliban? Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Chairman, Your Honors. Uh, we have uh, projects in uh, rural areas uh, being implemented, both by the National Housing Authority and the Social Housing Finance Corporation. And uh, we are uh, actually uh, uh, networking with the LGUs so that their housing concerns can be addressed. It's included in the budgetary uh, requirements uh, proposed by the National Housing Authority so that the LGUs can uh, receive support also from the uh, national government in that aspect. Yes, um, uh, we are aware perhaps what would be important at this point would be to get an inventory as uh, suggested by uh, by uh, the Senator uh, Senator Laxon earlier at hindi rin namin alam kung saan na itong mga ito dahil iba-iba pa rin ang kanilang uh, kasunduan sa mga LGU. Um, the other um, assumption that uh, seems to run through, that resonates through this law is the CLUP. Um, wala tayong um, plan B kapag may national land use, halimbawa kung sakali mapasa na, katulad ng sinasabi ni Presidente Duterte nung SONA. Purus LGU kasi at CLUP. Tama ba? Yes, uh, Mr. Chair, Your Honors. Uh, the uh, LGUs, all LGUs uh, have their uh, CLUPs. It's, I, I think it's about 95-96 percent uh, uh, LGUs complied to the uh, yes, practice so, of their... Galing po ako sa same. LGU. Compliance, compliance lang po yan. Taon-taon, halos pareho lang ang sinasubmit namin. Kasi, sabi nga ng mga mayor, wala naman na papala dyan. So, paulit-ulit lang po yun. Eh. So, I'm wondering, um, how, how, what are the uh, rural-based uh, housing efforts that you've initiated? And secondly, um, how... Uh, how were they prioritized? Were there guidelines? Uh, actually, we assist the uh, LGUs in the crafting of their local shelter plan. And in the local shelter plan, they have identified the uh, residential areas and their target beneficiaries. And in the uh, budgeting uh, requirements, uh, as I have said earlier, the National Housing Authority had provided funds, allocated funds, to assist the LGU. Likewise, the Social Housing Finance Corporations, uh, they are also involved with the LGUs so that they can have their uh, intervention also by financing the purchase of lots, the land development, and the construction of the actual units, Your Honor. So perhaps, Mr. Chair, if you will allow, uh, may we have a list of uh, those rural-based uh, and LGU-partnered uh, um, housing efforts. And uh, I here all throughout the repeat of uh, a request for appropriations running into the billions. Pwede bang malaman magkano na yung pag-ibig fund balance kasi lagi po itong pinagmamalaki na record breaking na napakalaki na. Siguro naman eh, pwede nating i-share magkano na ba yung pag-ibig ngayon at paano ginagamit? Uh, Mr. Chair? Yes. Yeah, Mr. Chair, uh, Honorable Members of the Committee. Uh, as of uh, June of this year, uh, the total asset is uh, more than 565 billion pesos. That's the whole size of our Pagibig Fund. Um, why then are we complaining that there's no money available if the Pagibig, which is entirely dedicated to housing, um, is uh, record-breaking in its collections? Uh, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, Your Honors, B basically Pag-IBIG is catering to the needs of the formal sector. The department will focus on the informal sector, uh, those uh, families living uh, in areas, public lands or private uh, lands that uh, they do not own in the first place. We have to assist them so that we can capacitate them to have that opportunity of having their house of their own. With regards to Pag-IBIG, uh, these are gainfully employed uh, employees and they are catering to about 75% of the total. Yes, that's my point exactly. As we've seen repeatedly, 
a uh, more creative, more innovative uh, budgeting uh, scheme is probably in order. Ang daming pera sa pag-ibig, hindi naman naggagamit ng todo-todo. Marami nga nagre sa gobyerno na sayang lang yung inaawas buwan-buwan at wala namang halos project dun sa lugar nila. So ang ibig ko sabihin, hindi ba dapat na yung pag-ibig mag-carve out rin ng ilang porsyento, katulad ng land bank halimbawa, na talagang uh, nagtatabi ng uh, ilang porsyento para sa land reform or agrarian reform. Is that a possibility? Because as I recall, pag-ibig um, in its original charter look towards depressed, informal, and other sectors as well as the formal sector. Napakaliit ng formal sector sa Pilipinas. It's less than one half. So we are saying that we will never finance over 56% as a result. Samantalang nandyan yung pera sa pag-ibig. Uh, uh, Mr. Chair, Your Honors, uh, pag-ibig, uh, if you are to get uh, financing from pag-ibig, you must be a member of the funds. But uh, since ISFs are not uh, members of the pag-ibig fund, so we are catering to the needs of the 14 million members of pag-ibig. Yes, I understand. But is, uh, is there a way, would you be open to uh, using some of these um, inordinate balances. Nandyan lang naman yung pera eh. Hindi naman nagagamit ng todo. Alam ko sa Region 1, Region 2, uh, sa amin, labis-labis po yung pera, halos wala namang housing project. Ano ba namang gamitin na rin ito sa informal sector? Mr. Chair, yeah, with all due respect to the HLURB, ang realidad, hindi naman yung darang sakit ng ulo ay yung lupa. May lupa kung sa lupa lang. Ang problema talaga, yung sa financing. Kasi alam na natin, kati, pati kasambahay, kasama naman sa economic segment yan, they can avail, di ba? They can access the pag-ibig fund. Ang butas talaga, yung D&E. &D. Di ba? We're fully aware of that. Na wala naman pambayad yan. Kaya, itong D&E, we should find a way na i-refinance yung limpak-limpak na salapi na nandyan sa pag-ibig, i-refinance natin at i-outright grant na natin sa DNE yan. Siyempre, medyo radical to at nangangako tayo ng todo-todo. But I'm sure there's a way to do it because we know for a fact na hindi naman maibibigay yung hinihingi ninyong bilyon-bilyon sa DBM. Pagdating niyan sa uh, budget consultation, eh, chap-chap na naman yan. Alam na natin, taon-taon nang nangyayaring ganyan. So yun yung una, yung financing. I outright grant na yan. Walang pambayad yung mga yan. Alam na natin yan eh. At yung pag-ibig yun ang intensyon. Hindi naman nakatutok lang sa formal sector. Karampot lang naman yung formal sector sa Pinas. So isa yun. Ikalawa, last year pa, walang kumakagat sa inyong uh, project, yung program natin. Forever hindi kinakagat dahil ang sabi ng ating mga developers, maski yung sanay sa socialized housing, the price caps of HLURB are completely unrealistic. You've heard that before, di ba? Last year pa yan at saka a few months ago, uh, nag-appeal na naman sila na unrealistic daw yung price ceilings ninyo and your benchmarks for socialized and economic housing. Hindi ba tayo pwedeng magkonsultasyon so that we come up with uh, better benchmarks, more realistic marketing and uh, building uh, standards para matuloy na itong housing program na hindi matuloy-tuloy. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, yes. Marcos. Uh, following the uh, suggestion of the CEO at HLURB, it's been my contention from the very beginning that we can offer a uh, greater variety of housing options if uh, not only do we involve different government agencies, but more importantly, the LGUs, that some of the funding should go directly to the local governments. In many cases, self-housing is adequate for urban areas where they are in possession of land or title. Pwede nang sila na magpaayos ng sarilang bahay para hindi naman tenement o squatter, kundi talaga namang uh, more substantial materials. Sa ibang lugar, yung uh, rental kinakailangan kasi talagang nakita naman natin, yung mga NGO, kayang-kaya yung mga container at iba't-iba pang bloke. Bakit hindi kaya 
ka kaya ng uh, gobyerno. I think uh, the LGUs would provide that variety and uh, would offer option to rent, um, op uh, rent option to buy, uh, different arrangements na short-term leases, longer-term leases, and so on. Self-housing, improved own housing, and so on would be uh, possible. So siguro yung LGU kasama din dapat sa mga ginagawang yan. Isa pa, kanina nakita ko si Attorney Kabling ng uh, social housing. Kasi dito ako nafifixate, ang karamihan kasi ng need natin na unanswered, eh talaga naman social housing. Anong dapat natin gawin dyan? Dahil yung social housing, eh alam naman natin, ayaw talagang ikag kagatin ng ating mga developers. Pilit na pilit ang compliance natin para sa social socialized housing. Pero, yun nga, dapat yata mamuhunan talaga ang gobyerno sa socialized. Yun naman ang totoo sa DNE. Yes. Wala namang pera yan in the first place. Ba't natin pipilitin na magbayad ng kompleto? Yes, pa, ma'am. Um, Doom to failure na yan. Alam na natin. Dapat mamuhunan ng gobyerno. Pero, unfortunately, unlike what the chairman uh, of HUDCC says, kay General, eh, hindi naman tayo makakakuha sa DBM ng napakalaking appropriation. Ano kaya ang magagawa sa social housing attorney dahil kayo ang uh, intimately involved dyan sa problema ngayon? Siguro hihingi lang kami ng kopya niyan. Baka makatulong kami. Yes, ma'am. Kasi I think it's time for uh, more innovative approaches. Huwag tayo ma-circumscribe. Otherwise, hindi talaga matatapos to till kingdom come. Yes, ma'am. Tapos pipilitin natin, formal sector lang, iilan lang sila. Pipilitin natin, magbabayad buwan-buwan. Eh, wala namang pambayad. Eh, talagang hindi mag sasaksi dyan. Yes, so, uh, kasi it's been years and years na nagiintay ako, Region 1, Region 2, sa Norte, kung saan na ako governor, eh talaga naman wala kaming napapansin na development. Samantalang bayad naman kami ng bayad buwan-buwan doon sa pag-ibig, inaawa sa sahod ng tauhan, wala naman silang mabiling bahay. Yes. So, my uh, point is, I think, If we go back to the Pag-ibig Charter and HDMF, hindi naman ihahambing dapat yan sa banko. Hindi naman banko yan eh. That's a special fund talaga for public housing. So perhaps we need to refocus our efforts to the original intent of the fund, which was to provide low-cost housing, whether socialized or uh, otherwise. Um, I think we need to go back to that and uh, not think too much like bankers.